ShireSociety.com. I just love these guys. So he can make you carry it and throw it for him because he loves catching sticks. A steady supply of fresh, clean water. And these guys to some extent. Not these guys so much. But I got to admit, the people who only eat these and this have a point. None of us should really be comfortable with animals having to experience this. And I guess they do to a large extent on these sort of, you know, mass assembly farms. Mass production, whatever you, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and this has made me rethink the whole idea of eating meat. Uh, I guess it's also the libertarian influence as I, as I watch this sort of non-aggression principle play out and have become more of a purist about it. I, I start, I've started to wonder uh if i should try to apply it more broadly you know apply it more to animals than than uh than i used to i i think what's going to happen is in about a well if we look back uh you know, there were a lot of people who believed in a lot of freedom uh in the 18th century but many of them owned slaves patrick henry might be the best example uh and of course then there's thomas jefferson who was uh, not super pro freedom but he was he had, I guess, from what I understand, begun to have second thoughts about owning slaves. The problem was, by the time he had his second thoughts, I guess, he was sort of addicted to having slaves. And a lot of us who are liberty people today may be looked at that way in 100 or 150 years, uh, if humans still exist in, human, you know, in, in uh, um, physical form at that point. People may look back and they will say, well, so-and-so, you know, that famous pro, pro-freedom pro person. He said he was all anti-aggression and everything, but look at all the animals that he had tortured so he could eat. You know, or he had them, he, you know, bought them even though they had been held in terrible conditions. He, he, uh, he still did business with the people who were mistreating them. It's, it's an act of aggression. And, you know, the truth is, I can't think of a whole lot to say to those people. I'm not sure I can really counter that argument. But I'm in the same position as Thomas Jefferson. I've sort of addicted to meat. I have to have a little bit. You know, I, uh, I, the, the, what, what I've just decided is that you're the best I can do, and I've been doing it for a while, is just to, to eat as little of it as, as I can get by with. Eating a bit is better for you, and it just certainly uh, increases quality of life. Certainly there should be no uh, law or anything that deputizes taxpayers to make the animal rights question be dealt with. But there is that, you know, that one thing that each of us can do, and that's maybe just to eat a little less or eat it, uh, you know, wild caught. It's, it's just a thought, a tip of the hat to people in the vegetarian and vegan community who I used to not really agree with very much back when I was a conservative. They've got a point. The old world is collapsing. And it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.